let's look at GSRT D10 worksheet number six. Really, this is just practicing uh, the physical calculations of the law of cosines. Now, remember, there are three different iterations of the law of cosines, and it just depends on what you're given and so on. You always use the law of cosines um, when you have uh, the cases of side angle side or side 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 because the law of sines doesn't work. The law of sines is much simpler. Uh, it does not work in these two cases, so you have to jump start the problem with the law of cosines, and then you can transition over to the law of sines, or, or even keep using the law of cosines. Usually people go over the law of sines because it's quicker and simpler. So here I have a side angle side in relationship. Um, I know angle A, so that's why I am uh, got this set up the way I do and I can solve the problem. So this time I'll, I'll walk myself all the way through it. Um, and in goes the info. Cosine of 58. Now, without much uh, work, all of that actually can just be placed into the calculator. And uh, this gives me something in the, in the uh, look of this. And then I can take the square root of that value. And I get about 18.95. So I now know that this is 18.95. Now, I want to always solve for the rest of the triangle. Now, I need a new angle now. Now, do I go for angle B? Do I go for angle C? The law of sines, if you remember as we discussed it, one of the issues it has is that the values in quadrant 1 for sine are equal to the values in quadrant 2 for sine. And so it's actually kind of hard to distinguish if I had a ratio, am I in quadrant 1 looking at an acute angle, or am I in quadrant 2 looking at an obtuse angle? The way you avoid any confusion, always solve for the next smallest angle because it has to be acute. You can only have one obtuse if you have it. So this is 15 would be across from C. C would be the smallest. So I am confident I can say the sine of C is 215 as the sine of 58 is to 18.95 sine of C 18.95 equals 15 sine of 58 and then the sine of C equals sine of 58 divided by 18.95 and we get that the sine of C is approximately let's find its value 15 times the sine of 58 divided by 18.95. It's approximately 0.671. And so I do the inverse of that ratio to obtain my angle. Uh, second side. And I find out I'm looking at a 42.17 degree angle. So this is 47.17. I now can find the other angle there by subtracting 180 minus 58 minus 47.17. And in, in reality, this was not an obtuse angle, but that's no problem. And I found all three uh, angles and all three sides. It would be done. Let me show you how this changes a little bit if we're in the world of side, side, side as the given. <clears throat> so let's give you three sides. This would be 18, this would be 20, this would be 22. Let's call this B, A, and C in this order. Now, in the case of three sides, which angle do you solve for first? In this case, you're going to use the law of cosines, which can distinguish between an acute and obtuse angle. So go for the obtuse on the first shot. 
which means go for the angle across from the longest side. So I'm going to solve for A here. So I'm going to use the same formula we just had. And uh, in goes the information. 22, 20, 18, 20, 18 cos of A. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to move this over. So uh, 22 squared minus 20 squared minus 18 squared gives me negative 240 equals negative. I'm going to multiply this together. So that's negative 2 times 20 times 18. That's negative 720 cosine of A. Divide both sides by negative 720. And I get 240 divided by 720. I get 0.333 equals the cosine of A. Um, this will now allow me to find that angle. So I do the inverse of that value. Gives me the measure of A. And my first angle that I get is approximately, approximately 70. 0.53. So this is a 70.53 degree angle. Once we've obtained that, off we go to the law of sines. So I now am able to, I'm going to clear myself some space here, I'm able now to start using the law of sines, which would say the sine of 20, uh, sorry, of 70 0.53 is to 22 as the sine of C is to 18. I could also say the sine of 70.53 is to 22 as the sine of B is to 20. For the sake of time, I won't solve those, but that would obtain my other two. Uh, I could find one angle actually, and then the other one would be 180 minus that. So. This is how you use the law of cosines.